this is pure wilderness survival part one. Oh wow. We stay hydrated. Always. This is this is not wilderness. This is not wilderness. This is how to live off the grid, that's how to live off a cake. Once upon a time, that time being Friday, March 28, 2024, Coach Emma, Bri, and I took a little journey down to Palo Alto to check into this dime of a crash pad a whole day early since somebody's race got moved forward from the p.m. to the a.m. the next day, which is when Maddie would join us and a bunch more of our teammates would make their own little trip to a spot just across the bay from us, also known as Hayward, California, to throw down some wicked races in the gushing wind and rain. So clearly the East Bay did not look like this when they were out there. It looked more like this. Coming at you live from Stanford, California, or Palo Alto, Bree's hiding somewhere in the back. But um, yeah, my race got moved from 8 p.m. or it got moved from the evening to the morning now. So we had to make a last minute trip down here last night. And the rain also decided to follow me. So at first it wasn't supposed to rain in the morning. It was supposed to rain in the evening. And then the weather switched on us. And so now it's gonna be raining during my heat and not during Bree's heat. This is what the actual conditions of my race were. I got pretty lucky to avoid the storm that followed, but not so lucky with the way my heat was paced in the beginning. I don't feel like it was set up for me to run the best overall time on the day, but there's gonna be races like that. Then, once the real wind started, Maddie went out there and did her usual thing by snagging another 1500 PR. The man, the myth, the legend, out here for brunch post race. What do you have to say to our fellow UC Davis athletes competing for the rest of the afternoon? Hey, good luck this weekend. Um, I mean, I came out here to watch you all first and foremost, and then my race is second, second priority. But yeah, good luck to UC Davis. Um, you know, it sounds like uh, you guys are off to a good hot start over here. We got a 20 second improvement on the season, and so I just kind of keep it rolling. Next up, back in Hayward, Chabot College to be exact, Chloe was out here for her third 1500 of the season, followed by Isaiah, who started off his day here with the 15 and doubled in the 4x4 later. Shout out to any distance runner that can pop in a relay. Talk about a real wet race. You can just see the raindrops on the screen here. Oriana decided to move up in distance this meet and give us some 1500 action, pulled off a sneaky college PR and got second in her heat. Then there's Christian out there doing his thing in the 15 as well, being chased down by Donovan in the same heat right there on the back stretch. Look at him go. Next up, take a look at Sid in route to her collegiate 1500 PR and heat victory over the other 13 or so girls. Looking a bit like Aggie Open where she also snagged the win in her heat and made it look easy. Sid has been on fire lately. Now we got Caitlin and Jojo in the mix. Love when multiple Aggies are in the same heat because they can just work together just like these two are doing right here. After their heat, it was time for the one and only Haley Large to toe the line in the 15. And she said, I'm gonna take this race out. So there she is up at the front early on and stayed at the front all the way through to place second in this heat. John, how are you feeling about these lovely rainy wet conditions we got out here today? I, th I think it's perfect for the steeplechase, which is what was my favorite event in college. You know, after the first lap, you're wet anyway, so who cares? We'll take it. Perfect for the steeplechase. Good thing we have a ton of steeplers today. Yeah, it's also good for fishing. So since we're down close to the ocean. You heard the man. Let's go fishing, guys. Let's go fishing. <laughs>
Now back at Chabot, we are on to the 5Ks. First of the night was Miss Hope Bergmark, just a few laps away from her third place finish here in this heat. And even more impressive, fourth place overall. So good to see Hope out here this season running consistent 5Ks after having so many other seasons battling injury. Then on the track, we had Chance and Troy's heat. Two of the few racers that were lucky enough to catch a little bit of sunshine during the meet. There's Troy back there, tucked in lane one, hanging with the pack. You are now looking at Ethan, doing typical Ethan things, clocking in an easy 14.32 for ninth in his heat. PR alert, placing seventh out of 24 in his heat with a solid 14.29. Michael said, I don't care that it's cold and wet. I'm gonna cook these boys up. Next, it was Shay, Brooke, and Stormy's turn. There's Brooke right there in the back, early on, starting off conservative, as she often does. Now take a look at Stormy right here, absolutely crushing it, about to get a collegiate PR and take third in this heat. Here's Shay's finish. Apologies for the spotty flow track footage, but she was able to get a season's best, so go Shay. Now we got Chris, hidden in this packed heat, who also came away with a PR. He's been on a roll with PRing at every meet of the season so far, from the mile to the 3K to the 1500, and now the 5K. Go Chris. Also in this heat, somewhere in that pack is our newest member of the team, Muhammad. Now listen to how excited our fans get for Kayla in this heat. Yes, Kayla! Kayla, win this thing! Come on, Kayla! Push it! Push it, Kayla! Sprint! Let's go, Kayla! Not too far behind Kayla was Natalie, chasing down these girls, keeping her shoulders down. Oh yeah, John would be proud of that form right now. Back at Stanford, here's Bree en route to another school record in the 5K at 1538.45. Are we surprised? Never. Bree is just forever in beast mode. Now we're turning to Hayward. Y'all need to see Zach's classic finish. Dude is known for his notorious lean at the line. We've seen this iconic finish before. Zach, never change your form because apparently that's how you set records. Yes, y'all heard it, another PR for the night. 15-13 for Zach. Last but not least, this is Sarah Perry's heat of the 5K. There she goes, moving up in this pack on the outside. 